Welcome to the slog, bitch ass niggas. I'm doing a new slog in about three hours. Why? Because I fixed my problem with PayPal. So I had to delete the last slog. Because there ain't no point in having a slog up complaining about an issue if the issue's over. So fuck that. I took that shit down. So I decided to give y'all a new slog. And for the young man that said, you know, smoking cigarettes costs money too. Now this costs $1.69, homeboy. Yeah, cheap ass cigarettes up in here. <laughs> the reason why I'm making this video is because I think I am a minor psychic. And I think that's also why I get pissed off so quickly. It's because if I see a vision and it doesn't come true the way I foresee, and then issues arise, it pisses me off. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna ask you guys your honest opinion. And I'm going to give you some facts. These are all facts. So I want you to tell me what you think. Maybe I'm just a fat nigga that loves thinking up stuff. But, um, okay, I'm just going to go down the list. When, my, when I was nine years old, I knew my African stepfather, the ambassador of shit, was cheating on my mother. Now, I didn't have any clues. I didn't have any evidence. I didn't have anything to tell me this except my feelings. And then he, uh, a couple of years went by and they separated because he was cheating on her. And then after she died, I found out he was cheating on her with a white woman for over 10 years. Okay, that could be a coincidence. And then a year ago, me and my cameraman, Mean Mug, was driving in his car, and I just had a weird feeling, and I said, Mean Mug, have you ever gotten a car accident before, a huge car accident? He said no. Three hours went by. He called me. Hey, bro, I just got into a huge car accident. There's fluid everywhere. His radiator broke or something, and then fluid everywhere. Huge car accident. Within three hours of me telling him this. Now, that could be another coincidence, maybe me telling him, have you ever gotten a car accident? Maybe he was thinking about getting a car accident. Then, boom, he got in a car accident. So, I'm going to give you another, uh, another one. When my grandmother died, a month before she died, my Uncle Brian, he is the last of my family, but he doesn't really hang around us that much. He has his own family, so he always with his own family. He wasn't seeing my grandmother for a long time, with over a month. He didn't see my grandmother, his mother. And I and Cephas had to drive to his house and tell him, you need to go see Grandma because you never know how long she has left. After me saying that, a month went by and she died. Now, she was always sick her whole life, but she wasn't that sick to just die in a month, you know, just out, you know. So maybe that is another coincidence. The same day I told my uncle to go see my grandmother is the same day I did the Black Man Anger at Toys R Us. Now, after my grandmother died, I had a dream from my grandmother. She came to me in a vision and she said, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, right, Grandma, I love you, but you full of shit, Mama. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you is. Everything's gonna be okay. I believe in you. That's what she tells me. When I woke up, the same video I shot the day that I told my uncle that my grandmother, that grandma could die anytime, the same video was the first video that got me viral, was the first video that got me a lot of fans. Maybe it's another coincidence. Then I had a dream that my sister came back into my life that was the older one that used to molest me and suck this dingling. I had a dream that she came back into my life because she ran away for over six years. I had a dream that she came back into my life and when she came back into my life, I tried to hug her and give her a kiss on the, uh, on, you know, give her a kiss. And she said, no, you can't kiss me. I have a disease. Two weeks later, after not seeing my sister for over six years, she comes back into my life, pregnant with twins and a drug addict. Another coincidence, right? Then, when I was real young, I had a dream from God that told me to pursue comedy and to break up with one of my girlfriends, now ex-girlfriend. Um, like three weeks or a month went by 
and my now ex-girlfriend told me she was cheating on me with a young man that was one of my enemies. All of you guys don't have no evidence. So you would be like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. You could be lying. So that's why I decided to make this video is because <sighs> if you watch my live stream and you know, and you, and you shut the fuck up, Blackberry, and you listen to my rants and you listen to me talk about things, you would know that this year I always say, me and Cephas have been saying this year, we're going to make a million dollars. I don't know why we keep saying it. But we just keep saying we're going to shut up. We're going to make a million dollars. We just keep saying it. We're going to make a million dollars, right? Within two years. That's what we keep saying. So I can see the fans and everything. So let me let me show you this. Now, I have not typed into my browser million dollars. I never typed it in. So there's no way Google can, can, can intercept this. I went to a website to watch a movie. And there was a capture, you know, those captures that you got to type in, and they usually uh, a four, five, seven, eight, nine, two, one, one, two, seven. You know, but sometimes it could be words too. This is the word. Now I kept saying a million dollars. This is the word that they came up and told me to type into my capture so I could watch the movie. All right, you guys can't see this that well, so I will be putting an image up so you can see it. It says a million dollars now the reason why I decided to make this video is to ask you all what do you think how in the blue balls hell a caption something that has thousands and thousands of different words randomized words for people to type in how is it possible for it to say the exact thing me and Cephas have been saying for over four months now almost every day. How? Is it God mocking me? Is it the universe mocking me? Is it a sign? Let me know. This has been a slug. Um, I'll be back in two days with a Sugar Please Weekly. So please check that out. Thank you all and God bless you.